Hey everyone, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to read all mails in a Gmail iPhone, or in other words, how to mark all of the mails as read if you're using Gmail on iPhone. And there are many mail clients that you could in theory use, so I'm not going to go over all of them, but the two most common ones definitely are the stock mail app on the iPhone and the Gmail app official from Google. So these are probably the most common ways how people use Gmail on their iPhones. So if you happen to be the one which uses the blue mail icon which is stuck on the iPhone for your Gmail account, then it's pretty simple to get it, get it done. So you just open up your messages and you get to your inbox section and in here all you have to do is to use the select all feature so you're going to click on edit and it's going to move all of the emails to the side with the ability to select individual ones but you also have the select all button at the top so you're going to click on that and in the lower left corner there is the mark uh, icon which you click and it gives you the option to flag it, move the junk and mark as red. So after clicking at that it's gonna make sure that all of the emails are open and it also makes it a little bit more aesthetic on uh, the home screen because uh, the icon uh, doesn't have any badges with the with the amount of unread emails. So that's definitely a great thing to to know about. By the way, before we, we move on to the Gmail app, I want to quickly say that if you're new on this channel and if you are interested in this type of helpful, hopefully helpful content for you, then make sure to subscribe and support the video with your thumbs up if you want to. But yeah, let's continue with the video. Okay, so if you use the Gmail app, there is also an option to select individual mails as read and mark them as if you would open them up regularly. So you just click on the circle icon next to next to a name or uh, on their profile picture and you can mark it as read or unread. So in the upper right corner there are a couple of buttons and you can tap on them. But unless you want to click on every single mail to select it, there is no other option to select all of them. Because simply it's just not possible in the app. And people were even asking this Google directly on how they cannot do it, how is it possible that you just cannot get it to work. And all they said in their tutorial page on their uh, on their website was that to mark all messages as read you need to go on your computer and open gmail so you literally can't mark all messages as read from the gmail app this applies to iphones and ipads but also to androids which is kind of fair i guess uh, it's not just limited to iphones uh, and yeah you can only do it on a computer on a desktop version of google so if you open gmail on your mac or windows uh, in the uh, top left, you click on a down arrow, then click on all, and then you're supposed to click more and mark as red, as they say in this uh, tutorial or in instruction page. So is this a reason to switch back to the stock mail app? Uh, I do not think so. I mean, there are definitely great uh, features in the Gmail app. It just depends on your preferences and stuff. But if this is uh, the most important feature for you, then uh, naturally switching back to the Blue Mail app is a good idea. But also take a look at some other third-party mail providers and mail clients like Blue Mail or there are literally tons of them out there. And choose the one that you trust the most or provides you with the best features and just stick with it and like there's not nothing else what you should be uh, thinking about anyway guys hopefully i helped you in this video like the title says it is possible to do it but to a degree and depending on which mail client you use so um yeah you'll probably end up having to do it on uh, the desktop version of gmail Anyway, thank you a lot for watching until the end also and also for supporting the channel either by clicking on the like button or even by subscribing because if you subscribe it's going to help you as well because every time there's going to be something interesting that I upload, potentially interesting for you, then it's going to show up on your YouTube page. So it's not like you're going to be like bombarded with notifications only when something uh, relatable or something for you is going to be uploaded by me then it's just going to be suggested to you by YouTube so definitely think about that and yeah you can also write some sort of comment if you want to but I don't want to make this video any longer for no reason so thanks a lot again I'll see you guys in the, the future uploads